roasted up pineapple under the sea. Not me. But you know who does? SpongeBob. But it's come to my attention that there's been this clip floating around of a SpongeBob hijacking from 2005, you know, when I was a wee little baby. And while I haven't watched SpongeBob, I do know my fair share about SpongeBob creepypastas and such. And this needs to be discussed right now. So grab your popcorn, sit back and relax, and prepare to have the way you view your childhood show changed forever. Actually, with the amount of SpongeBob horror content there is out there, I wouldn't be surprised if you've already been scarred. First of all, this clip is an analog horror project created by Yummy B Yummy Baby Yum, yummy be be best, best girl. Mm -hmm. The episode that was hijacked was called Gary Takes a Bath. Gary's chilling in the living room, as one does. I was chilling in the living room while doing research for this video. And he's waiting for SpongeBob to come home for bath time. And when he does, Mr. Bob is glitching around like he's solely running on five hour energy and hasn't slept in weeks. All of a sudden, this creepy face pops up behind the two. Then all of a sudden, there's text on the screen. We will be friends once more, undeterred by all we've been through. And regardless of all that separated us, all that I'm longing for is an old friend. I don't know if I should be feeling like, oh, that's so sweet, you want to be friends again. Or should I feel like I'm being threatened? Then it says, see you soon, Jerry. Who is Jerry? Do you know? Cause I don't. To Nicole and Anthony, I'm sorry. I miss you, I want to hear your funny laugh again. Okay, I feel like that's just a straight up insult. I want to stop hearing your screaming at night. Oh, when I see you at the edge of my bed and threaten that someone I know would hurt us. <laughs> and then the episode ends with a thank you. So lovely. There is a lot to unpack here. First of all, I'm returning to my question before. Who is Jerry? I mean, I have theories, I have thoughts. And I don't think there's a part two for this, so I'm solely just working off this one hijacking clip. But perhaps whoever hijacked this broadcast did some pretty not good things, like unaliving some people. And perhaps the only way they think they can make up for what they've done is by hijacking the SpongeBob broadcast and, you know, leaving a message for the other friends who are probably really scared or dead. I don't know. It sounds like this person is being really haunted and really troubled by whatever the frick is going on here. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I know this was a short one, but I saw this clip and I was like, that is really, really cool. And I feel like I need to talk about it because I do talk about spooky things on here. If you're new to the channel, hi, I like to talk about scary stuff and weird stuff. Just, just whatever, basically. But if you have any recommendations for any other like analog horror stuff or like creepypasta stuff or like more stuff like SpongeBob hijacking, whatever the frick genre this would be called. Let me know in the comment section down below. You know, I did hear that there are like actual TV hijacking stuff out there. So maybe I can find that, but yeah, let me know. And of course, if you have any recommendations for like topics in general, you'd like me to check out, let me know in the comment section as well. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, Brussels sprouts.